Here's how to resize and resample your document. So, all of the options we need are under the document menu here, where we will find resize document. So we start with the size, which is also the pixel resolution, if we're working in pixels. We have the width and the height. And we can specify a new width and height just by clicking into, for example, the width input box and typing a new value. Then if I tab across to height, it automatically calculates the height for me based off the aspect ratio of the document. Now I can click the lock here to unlink width and height. So if you wanted to resize width and height independent of one another, you could do that by unlocking the lock icon here. Okay, let's move on to units. So units are important if we're resizing for print. For example, Let's change to inches and create a 6 by 4 inch photo print. So I'll type 6 in the width, and when I tab across to height, it calculates the 4 inch height for us. And this is where DPI comes into play. If I change the DPI to 300, which is considered optimal for print resolution, I can then move back to pixels. And notice here that the pixel resolution has changed. So this resolution has been calculated to be optimal for a 6 by 4 inch print dimension at a DPI of 300. If we move back to inches and I actually lower the DPI further to say 144, if we now move back to pixels, we have an even lower pixel resolution. Okay, so the pixel resolution is always calculated based on the given measurement and the DPI value. Let's move this back to 300 and move on to the resample method. So anytime you change the pixel resolution of a document, it is resampled. And we can change the resampling method based on our requirements. The list here goes from softest to sharpest. Now nearest neighbor, I wouldn't really recommend for anything other than pixel work. Bilinear is still quite soft, but that might be of benefit if you have a lot of high frequency detail in your document or image. Bicubic is a nice all round solution. You get decent sharpness. But if you want a really sharp result, you'll want to look at Lansos 3, separable and non-separable. Non-separable is the slowest, but also the sharpest method available. So we'll choose that for this document. Finally, then we have the resample checkbox. Now, if you only wanted to change the DPI value in the metadata of the document, you could uncheck this and it won't resample the pixel resolution of the document. So for example, if you were bringing documents or images into layout software and you wanted to change just the DPI value without modifying anything else, you could do that by changing this value and unchecking resample. We'll leave it checked for now and click resize. And once photo has finished resampling the document, we can see the new pixel resolution at the top here under the document status bar. And there we go, just a quick overview of how to resize and resample your document.